Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the first part of the chapter 1.3, and we're going to talk about the vector, basically intro to vectors. If you covered vectors and vector operations in any other course and feel comfortable, feel free to skip this part. Okay, let's just talk about vectors. So what's a vector? Vector is just a truncated matrix or matrix with one column. For example, here, 3 minus 1 is an excellent example of two-dimensional vectors. Uh, v, another two-dimensional vectors. Again, it can be as many dimensions as you want. And W even have a variable. There is nothing wrong with having variables in a vector. And geometrically, we can look at vectors as a, um, a pointed uh, line which connect the origin and a given point. For example, our vector 3 minus 1 will connect our vector u origin with point 3 minus 1. Okay, um, so we can do several mathematical operations with the vectors. For example, we can multiply a vector by a number and it's usually called scalar multiplying. And usually scalar, uh, scalar or number uh, determined by, uh, like denoted by letter C, but not necessarily. For example, here, let's take our favorite three minus one vector and multiply it by the number five. So what would happen? Uh, again, this is the proper notation. You put the number first, five, and then you vector in brackets. So what are we gonna do? we just distribute with five within a vector, multiplied by, by the each entry. We take the first row, multiply by five, get 15. We get the second row, multiply by five, get minus five. So very straightforward operation. Just keep it like a bracket or parenthesis when you just distribute number within the bracket. Okay. Geometrically, what is multiplication by number means? Uh, it's actually pretty cool because we can just stretch or contract the vector. For example, if we have a vector u over here and we want to double it, we just stretch it twice its length. We can also multiply by the negative number, but then we can change the direction to the opposite away from the origin. For example, here we take our vector u, uh, shrink it by the factor of two-thirds and point it in the opposite direction, which is just a multiplication vector u by minus two-thirds. Okay, another important mathematical operation with the vectors is the sum. We can technically sum as many vectors as you, as you want, but Two vector sum is the easiest one, so that's what we're gonna do. So generally, to sum two vectors, we just sum their components. For example, if we take our vector u and v and add them together, we just take the first component of the vector u and add the second, comp uh, the first component of the vector v. So two minus six give us minus four. And we will do the same for the second component. Second component of vector u plus second component of vector v, two plus one will give us three. So usually everybody enjoys the uh, summing vectors. I think it's honestly pretty pleasing. Um, but what's happened when we geometrically try to represent our vectors? Again, not everybody likes the geometry of the vector sums, but I think the more you do it, the more comfortable you find it. So here, here is a graphical representation of vector u, two by two, and vector v minus six, one. So, and we already calculated the sum vector u plus v, and we know that it has the coordinates minus four, three. So we just connect it with a pointed vector. And um, you know, the cool thing about geometrical interpretation is that actually sum of two vectors form the diagonal 
of the parallelogram formed by our two vectors. For example, if we make a line parallel to our vector v and line parallel to our vector u, this two line cross exactly at the u plus v point. So all we need to do is connect them. And um, I know that the, maybe not everybody enjoying the uh, parallel uh, rules for vector addition, but I strongly recommend you to do it a couple times. It's actually quite interesting. Okay, so now we have two operations. We actually can combine them together. So any combination of sum and scalar multiplication is called a linear combination. And we will study the linear combinations of single vectors and multiple vectors for the rest of the semester in this course. So we probably, you probably have to take this topic very serious and practice as many problems as you can. Okay, this is all for part one of the uh, chapter 1.3. So I see you at the part two.